Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Today, we are going to take a look at how I would use my synth samples that I give away most of the time on Patreon, following all the synth reviews and demos I do. I figured that I was often giving away samples like this without showing anyone how I would use them, which might simply give you a few ideas, because they might seem not really usable as they are, but actually, well, they are usable. <laughs> so what I want to do with you today is to try to make a simple pattern in a weird IDM-ish fashion, using only samples that I made for Patreon. <laughs> Start with the simple beat from the Aphex RZ1 kit, and we'll make all the synth using either sampler or simpler. Let's start with the bass line. Okay, let's go to the last sample pack I made for Patreon, which was the Moog, the Moog Mavis one. So if you go to the synth here. There's lots of things like this. They're all tuned to C. So the way I would use them personally would be to just throw a sampler into a MIDI channel and get this. Okay, we're, we're going to make a bass sound with this one. Okay, so here I'm playing it. Oh, also, sorry about the annoying that you might hear in the background. It's insanely hot here, as probably everywhere. But uh, I really need this while shooting this video. Uh, so it's a fan, in case you haven't guessed. Okay, so this is the kind of envelope that we are good with. I want to play this. So let's go to the control page. Oh no, sample page. We want one voice because we just want a bass line here. Uh, we are going to lower the sustain just a tiny bit. We are not going to use any loop thing as we are going to play low notes. So the sample will not oft often reach the end. And we are mostly going to use the filter. What makes a good bass sound? It's usually a filter. It's usually the envelope applied to this filter. So let's... That's good. Let's try to record something with this. Okay. Very bad at playing, so but it's usually it's usually give me some good starting points. That's a good start. It's a, just a little bit static. So let's add some velocity to the filter. So you can hear the effects. Let's keep it this way. Let's add a bit of resonance. Let's make sure we have no, yeah, not much velocity 
acting on the volume though. It's like 15% should be okay. So we can either draw things here. We can add randomization directly on only a few selected notes, which is usually already cool. Add some movement and things. That's quite cool. You can change the filter here. Maybe add a bit of drive. So here, it's the filter that does the most of the thing, but changing the sample will give us some very different results. So let's try. Just if you drag and drop a sample into the the sample area of the simpler, it will keep all the changes you have made. Okay, I like this one. I, I like the PWM envelope that we add earlier. This one. So here I'll show something. Here I'm going to uh, basically just duplicate this and I'm going to put this fold thing here. This one, I'm not going to use the filter right now and I'm just going to put it very, very low. A more a velocity to volume thing. This one... Just give it a long release time, so it will follow along the other one. And here, instead of using the filter, we are going to use just a few LFO things, such as the LFO and the pan, which is something that I really like. have the key follow of the LFO frequency. You can actually use the filter here, but in another mode like high pass, for example, without envelopes. This one will also be like four voice. That's not bad. So let's add maybe a bit of delay or reverb on this one. I've just applied a very small offset to one of the channel to give more stereo here. King. Anyway. Okay, that's a good start. Now I will want simple pad, let's say. Okay, so I will use another instance here and let's go for the for the Syntrix. Since sound. Oh, yeah, that's good. Trivisio phasing thing. Okay, so 
let's add lots of 3D. Some attack. So if you want something that stay for long, the problem here is that if we play high notes, the sample will stop at some point. So here we need to use the loop thing. We can just decide, that's what I do most of the time, I usually grab the end of the sample, like this, a part of the end, and then fade, not necessarily max, but yeah, so it feels, I've been lucky here, it feels good already. But okay, what note I was? That was my starting point here. So, Here we can still use the filter for that kind of paddy sounds. I like to use it to help the be proactive. Maybe also add some padding modulation. Okay, volume can work quite well as well. Tiny, tiny bit of key follow and tiny bit of attack here is like when you start to play there's no LFO but it starts to kick in it's like the delay on most of the Roland synth for example okay and we could want have something more complex uh, which we'll use for this we will use uh, sampler instead of simpler to do basically the same thing but the fun stuff oops wrong one the fun stuff about sampler is that you can put multiple samples and what's interesting about this let's go to the Syntrix again <laughs> I have a few like wave shaped thing I can drop here. We'll keep we'll keep with this with those five. So if I go to the zone here, I have select all my samples. I will all put them in sustain loop back and forth mode. Loop start somewhere. Crossfade. Just listen to it. It seems quite okay. Uh, now here we go to select here and distribute range equally. So basically here we can access different samples. That's one thing I like to do. I take like the same MIDI file and the bass line and make it much longer. Add some release. It's 
Four Voice. Filter, filter modulation. And we can do a lot of things here, but to make it simpler to see, I'm going to use the expression control. Thanks, Nedrush, for the tips about this. They're just going to make some random everywhere. And map those random things to different stuff. So let's go for the filter frequency, for example. Filter resonance. Here you have the range, so you can set the max and stuff. And most importantly, the sample selection. Some LFO the panning as well here. Let's modulate the speed of the LFO. Well, no, no aftertouch. Do the attack as well on the field, no, on the amp envelope, actually. Let's also use not length here and we will choose the random not length with one of the random here here we have some funky weird fx style funk That actually sounds pretty good. The most important thing here is to choose the sample. So if you want to change your bass without changing all the things, you can just like drag and drop any new samples there and check how it sounds, if you like it or not. to add some samples into the sampler thing to make it more complex. Reselect everything, redistribute equally. So that's fun with sampler as you can add lots of things actually from different synth. It sounds very different. I was pretty sure you could morph things with this as well, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Or maybe I just forgot how it works. Ah, that's here. So let's try this. morph between different sounds as well. But let's listen just to this one. <laughs> it 
that's some funky things. Uh, also, this kind of things will, of course, shine if you add some reverb or delay on top of it. So here I could just drop an echo on it. DB filter as well. The modulation range on the attack is maybe a bit too much, so let's, let's dim the max a bit. Okay, so you get the idea anyway. That's it for today. I hope this was helpful. So yeah, make sure you check out Simpler and Sampler to use your own sample, sample with synthesizer or the one you can grab from my Patreon. Uh, feel free to support on Patreon. Uh, for five euros a month, you get all this and much more and all the future things I will do. By the way, I will put a link to download this Ableton project in the description to anyone, even if you're not a Patreon subscriber. And uh, yeah, I hope you have fun using those and as much as I have fun making them. And uh, thank you to everyone who was already supporting me there. And uh, goodbye. See you next time for another video. Ciao, ciao.